Hey guys, Billie Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. So Emma finally had her singleton puppy. So here's the story of the birthing process. All right, so how do you guys think that she had it? So we know from the beginning that Emma had one puppy. Now I am so grateful because I worried that like maybe my progesterone machine didn't give me the right numbers for the right timing, but we knew that today or yesterday, so last night or today, we always say, we always do a due date of one day and either a day before or a day after, and it was either last night or today. So it happened this morning and I'm so grateful that she had this baby on her own. But let's go ahead and start with kind of, you know, we're getting her area set up. So we have these six foot by six foot kennels that are just a setup however we want them to. They're tempered glass with, you know, our plastic siding just to make everything super easy. It's pretty easy to clean all of that stuff, but we've got it where it's empty and then we end up getting it put together for our mama. So here how it is. We have our washable mat underneath, we have our garden bed, and then we have our pool. So I know everybody's gonna say, well, why put her in a pool when you know, you've know you got the garden bed? Give her more room. Well, yes and no. When you've got puppies, and, or a puppy, when you've got a mama that's had puppies, especially the first couple days, if not the first week or two, you wanna keep them in a kind of a tight spot and you know to where the puppies can't get too far away or puppy um so what we do is we try to make sure that we have an area that is on the smaller side of course someone is here 24 7 either watching her from the other room on a camera or in the same room with her so you know we want to make sure that the puppy doesn't get underneath of her or behind her i know some breeders are going to say well what about the pig rails I personally don't like them. You know, I just, I like the pool. You know, once the puppies get a little bit bigger, we'll end up taking the pool out and then setting up the area inside for her to have in a little bit more room. But this is the setup we like. So yesterday, her temperature dropped. We got down into the 97s, high 97s, low 98s is what you look for. And her temperature dropped yesterday. Obviously we knew her due date, but we're still doing these things to make sure that we know you know, when her body is starting to move forward. So I am excited that her temperature dropped yesterday. We got her area set up. She's so sweet, so calm. She nested a little bit. I don't have a video or pictures of her of that, but she was in the corner like nesting. So I'm like, it's gonna happen. So I wondered before bedtime, do I go in there? Do I lay down, you know, with her in her area, especially for one puppy. The last thing that I want is to worry about my sleep and not be there if she's pushing and pushing and it gets stuck and then she's not saying anything. I didn't want something to happen. So I ended up moving an extra pool and putting it right beside my bed. Of course I did put, um, you know, like a little fence around it so she couldn't get on the bed with us. And that's just so she was confined again to one spot. And then if you can see that red lamp, it wasn't a heat lamp yet cause we don't want to make her hot, but that is, some of my plant lights. <laughs> so turned it around and put it on her so it wasn't too bright of a light, but if I needed to look over, I didn't have to like get up and check it out. I could just check on her all night. So went to bed a little after 10. She's there, she was happy. She barely moved all night. So I did probably see about every hour of the night when it's like this, you know, you don't sleep very well. You're not exactly nervous, but you're excited, you're, you know, wanting to keep check on things. So, you know, I just kept rolling over and looking at her. She was sleeping, you know, I made sure I could see her, you know, back in, nothing was hanging out, that type of stuff. She never did any type of pushing. I got up about four, walked her, let her go potty, all of that stuff, put her back. She laid down and went right to sleep. I'm thinking, well, at least she's resting. <laughs> Good for her. And then we ended up getting up about 7.30, walked her again put her back in her area. So then, you know, for her to be comfortable, I wanted her to be comfy and, you know, didn't know if that kind of what would get stuff started. Normally mamas start having their babies at nighttime, but she didn't. I know I've done a lot of talking. So what I'm gonna do is now that you've seen kind of our setup, you've seen what we did overnight, now we're gonna show you that when she kind of started doing her pushing thing and 
doing it all on her own. She had that baby here. And I will say, FYI, you are gonna see a birth being a live birth, you're gonna see a little bit of blood, you're gonna see the baby in a sack, so if you don't wanna see that, maybe just kinda of fast forward through it, but I will tell you, she's a miracle. All right, so I normally don't like to take babies these young away from their mother, but I wanted to show her off really quick. Is she not the prettiest thing ever? Look at this chest. I know, darling. So we've got white feet, white chest. She does not have a white tip of the tail but she has a very decent size tuxedo face. So I do want to go put her back with her mom. She is gorgeous. We don't know what nose color yet. We can tell she's got a fat little chunky belly. Look at that thing. Um, she is eating very well so far, all of that good stuff. But her nose color will show up in maybe like four or five days. So we'll be back showing her with that because I do know that the family that is interested in her would like a black nose, but she doesn't know if a brown nose would turn her away or not. So let me go get her back with her mom and I'm gonna come back and talk a little bit about, look at that milk mustache, about um, how she compares to one of the last puppies in Emma's last litter. Was that not the prettiest, chunky, singleton puppy you have ever seen? So I'm, as you all know, I always say I'm so excited. 
I am just ecstatic that she came on her own. Um, you know, I was here to watch it, thankfully, which I always like to be. But then she had no complications. You know, she wasn't too big to come out. She is a pound, one pound, 0 0.4 ounces. For a newborn puppy, it's so funny because they're normally anywhere from like eight ounces to 12, depending on the size of the litter. But over a pound already, it's just, it's awesome that she's chunky, she's healthy, she's sucking, all of that good stuff. And I'm glad I get to share this with you because I do hope too, with her being a singleton, that other people that are going to be dealing with the same thing can kind of have something to look back on to and see our process we're going through. I was thinking that Shay's litter, so we have some litters that are due, you know, kind of in a couple weeks, you know, back to back, different weeks out. And Shay is due in like 13 days. So this puppy's probably gonna be too big to join that group, but we're gonna do our best to work on, you know, not getting her too fat. That's one of the things. We don't want her to be too big. And we need her to have a lot of interactions and playmates and stuff like that as if she had siblings. So we're gonna work on all that stuff. We're gonna do research, you know, making sure we're doing everything correctly. But I am ready. I am ready to get this started. But I wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about what I've been saying this whole time. So when I found out she had a singleton, I thought, oh my goodness. For one, it's like every, if you're going to be breeding long enough and be breeding enough litters, you probably will run into this. I've never had a singleton before, but one of the things that kind of ran through my mind is I'm, I'm a thinker. So I'm thinking all the time is, you know, her last litter, she had nine puppies, but we only sent home eight, only eight puppies actually made it to their new families. So we did have one puppy at about a week old about a week and a half old we that was not thriving uh we had another dog here that had puppies that we would you know pull her out and have her feed her because she had more milk and have like one-on-one -on -one time but she just would not gain weight and you could tell her body like her skeletal body parts were getting thinner but her belly was just getting bigger so so we didn't know if she you know, with being with a litter of nine, if she had everything in her body processing like it should, but obviously she wasn't. She was getting skinnier, you know, she wasn't exactly, we were making her maintain weight, but her belly was just getting bigger. I do have a video kind of on that I'll throw in here. We did end up having to take her to um, the vet and getting her euthanized. I don't want to be talking about it too much because it wasn't, it was very sad. Um, but you know, it's what was best for her because she, she would have passed away on her own because things were not working like they were supposed to. But in my head, I was thinking the whole time, if this puppy comes back as a tuxedo female that looks like her, I'm going to freak out because it's like, she's come back to try it again. And it's so funny because she does. Now she's not as thick of a tuxedo as our first girl, which was orange collar, but I'll throw up pictures right here of them so she was a little bit lighter colored but you could tell she had like that frosted tip look and that means that she still would have darkened that's called the rufus gene but it's so funny because they're both tuxedos they have you know all four feet are white we both have a white chest and then they've got that little mustache on one side so it's just kind of cool but it's because she's came back she's came back for another another trial and I actually don't believe in that kind of stuff you know I you know I don't believe in like coming back as things but it's just kind of funny that it's it's this thing that it's, it's a feeling like she passed away but we've got another one here to replace her to you know live up to what her legacy should have been so I'm so excited about this puppy I'm excited about Emma and our family that is prepared to get her and hopefully we'll stay on you know we do I did give this lady you know options of another litter because it's one puppy we didn't know if it was going to be a male or not a tuxedo and that type of thing so she and she might come up available I don't know yet there are two people that I've talked to about her one person has definitely said yes I want her as long as everything works out perfectly um but we'll just have to see we'll just have to see so I'm going to cut this video off right now it's actually my daughter's birthday.
tomorrow. So I hope he's gonna stay here with them and kind of keep an eye on him. And I'm gonna take her shopping today. So that'll be, that's Lindsay, she'll be 20 tomorrow. And I'm just, everything is like a huge relief off my shoulders that everything has worked out perfectly. Um, you know, I, I was ready for anything, but I'm glad things went in the best direction that it could have. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, hit that notification bell so you can be reminded when we post videos. Hopefully each week we'll have that. Now with litters coming up, we'll have multiple videos coming up. I still have, what, three or four videos to do for you guys. That is, you know, we've got other dogs that we've bred. Uh, we've got ones that we've ultrasounded. And then, you know, some things that we had done just kind of for fun. So I need to sit down at the computer, but now I'll have a lot of time to do that with being here with our little princess, Miss. We're gonna call her Tuxedo Female since we're not gonna put a collar on her. So super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.